afternoon guys it's uh it's only 12 o'clock uh, lunchtime ish i was just uh, out for a quick hike not not wasn't gonna go too far just go need to get to the library and upload and stuff and i, I just got sidetracked and uh saw some footpaths well what i thought were footpaths and i thought i'd just follow them uh and it's the gummo van and just this one just led me as you can see that's the path holes down there's a, the main road towards the main reservoir sort of area but i just walked down this path and came across this lovely little spot and uh i don't know if there's fish or anything else in there but there's certainly some activity in the in the woods in the water anyway and it uh, doesn't look as though, even though there's like tracks and everything else, these are old tracks. The whole path is starting to get all, all overgrown again. So I don't know, maybe hikers come down here, but I don't know. Because this is all supposed to be nature reserve, locked off, uh, SES land or something. I don't know. But as you can see, there's, there's more tracks this way. And uh, more of the river over there or the, the lake, or a small lake anyway. I'm just following what, where these tracks go. And, yeah. Seems a bit boggy, I don't know what that is. Bit of concrete mix, lots of silver birch. At least there's running water here. See, the water is running. Um, I don't know whether to jump over or not. Uh, yeah, I think I'm. It's all probably. Look at it. I mean, that's, that would be good for an overnight camp, wouldn't it? We've got running water here. Anything else? Anyway, I'm just gonna. Uh, this 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 will this this is worth uh, spending a night out and a day here just to explore, um, do a bit of stealthy camping or something else like that. Uh, as you can see, there's more there's more more of the lake area there. This is the small part, small lake I think. There's two lakes I think, or two res reservoirs, which well, I don't know which one feeds which one. Uh, and this is a small one. Uh, I was really wanting to head to the big one because that's where the main uh, footpaths are. <laughs> Which I should have stuck on. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so I suppose it's back up this hill now. Uh, sort of the path. <coughs> you see, when you take the path less trodden, you often find. Uh, more interesting things you know and this is what I like as I say this this path hasn't been used in a while uh, and just 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 either side of it there's some beautiful flowers all the natural wildlife is is here plus all the thistles and Nettles and everything else. One thing you don't find so much out in the wilds anymore, or well, one thing I haven't noticed so far, is uh, you know fruit trees. I, re I remember we used to go walking when I was a kid, and yeah, some 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 places, some fields, some farms, and there'd be fruit trees. Yeah, the old apple tree, sometimes a pear tree, you know, those conference pears. Uh, they'd be around. And, uh, yeah, you could just have a, have a pick. Ah, uh, dear. Uh, reminds me of my uncle and my father one day disappearing into some fields through some woods. I'm running back to the car because we, we'd all stopped off uh, on, on a day out. I'm running back to the car, get in, get in, get in. And they both had a huge bundle of sweet corn. <laughs> yeah, right. The height of their naughtiness. Oh well. Uh, 
Okay, well, I'm gonna carry on down that path, see where it takes me, and uh, get to where I'm going. Got some stuff to pick up later on. Anyway, catch you later, guys. <laughs>